Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss the advancements made by large language models, LLMs, in various tasks, including creative writing and complex reasoning. These models rely on extensive, high-quality pre-training data, which is essential for their performance in different applications. While the Internet provides a wealth of data, much of it is unrefined and requires significant cleaning before use. Previous approaches have mainly focused on heuristic methods for improving data quality, such as filtering documents and scoring them based on perplexity, which often depend on human input and manual adjustments. Recently, some efforts have aimed to utilize LLMs for acquiring high-quality data. On one hand, LLMs have been used for filtering or selecting data, but they typically only identify low-quality documents without making detailed refinements. On the other hand, LLMs can also generate new, high-quality data, but this synthesis process demands considerable computational resources, which can limit scalability. Despite their effectiveness, these methods can suffer from issues like hallucination, and evaluating their accuracy and completeness remains challenging. To address these challenges, we propose ProX, a model-based framework designed for refining data at the pre-training level. ProX aims to enhance large-scale data using smaller models, providing a more efficient solution. In practice, we first fine-tune a small base language model, which is less than 1 billion parameters, on seed data for data refinement tasks. This model then determines the necessary operations for each example in the pre-training corpus through versatile programs, including filtering, normalizing strings, and removing noisy lines. The generated program is executed by a predefined executor, resulting in a refined corpus ready for pre-training. Our experimental results show that ProX consistently improves data quality for pre-training, achieving an average enhancement of 2.1% across 10 downstream benchmarks and surpassing state-of-the-art data selection methods by over 2.0%. ProX demonstrates broad applicability across various model sizes, from 0.3 billion to 1.7 billion parameters, and shows consistent performance improvements across different pre-training corpora, including Red Pajama V2, C4, and Fine Web. In domain-specific continual pre-training, ProX achieves an 11% improvement over Open Web Math for TINYLLAMA 1.1b and 7.6% for Mistral 7b from 9 mathematical tasks with similar gains observed for LLAMA27B and CODELLAMA7B. Moreover, our findings indicate that pre-training on the refined corpus significantly enhances efficiency, allowing us to achieve comparable downstream performance with up to 20 times less computational effort. We believe that investing in computational resources for data refinement is worthwhile as it enables similar performance at a reduced training cost and presents a promising approach for efficient LLM pre-training. Next, we define the data refinement task. Given any document in the corpus, such as an HTML extract or a textbook, we define data refinement as transforming the document into a higher quality version. While defining higher quality for pre-training data can be complex, we consider it to involve qualitative improvements, such as removing advertisements, irrelevant URLs, and content that lacks educational value. We conceptualize this refinement process as generating a data processing program based on the original document. The refined document is produced by executing this program on the original document. For example, string normalization can be a detailed process that cleans noisy strings using a specific executor and program. Here, the original document is represented as a sequence of strings, and the normalization function transforms certain strings into their cleaner versions. Additionally, document filtering can be seen as a specific case of this refinement, where executing the filtering program results in the removal of the entire document. Thus, we can unify various data quality improvement operations, such as cleaning and normalizing, into a standardized function that applies specific transformations to the document. These operations can be represented as different instances of a general executor that applies the defined program to the document. Section Summary In this section, we discuss the development of ProX, a model-based framework designed to enhance the quality of pre-training data for large language models, LLMs, 
by utilizing smaller models for efficient data refinement. ProX autonomously generates and executes data processing programs to improve document quality, achieving significant performance gains across various benchmarks while reducing computational costs. Section. Model Adaptation for ProX. In this section, we discuss model adaptation for ProX. We recognize that base models struggle to directly generate ProX programs, and even advanced language models find it challenging to create custom API calls. To address this, we need to gather some initial data to help adapt the model for these tasks. We utilize strong language models to annotate operations through zero-shot and few-shot prompting, followed by supervised fine-tuning to adapt our base model. We begin by using two scoring prompts to categorize our documents into those we keep and those we discard. We then annotate detailed programs based on the kept documents, specifically using the LAMA-3 models for this data collection. This process is done once, and all base models are adapted using the same curated data. To ensure the quality of the collected data, we perform checks for grammatical correctness and manage the removal ratio. For our base model, we use a smaller language model trained on around 26 billion tokens of raw data, which also serves as a baseline for comparison in our experiments. We evaluate the adapted model's performance using the F1 score on a validation dataset, selecting the best performing model to generate programs for each document or data chunk. These programs, along with the documents, are executed to produce the final processed corpus. More details on training. F1 score calculation, and large-scale inference can be found in the appendix. Next, we outline our experimental setup, assess the effectiveness of each ProX stage, and compare it with existing data selection methods for pre-training. We apply ProX to various model sizes and datasets to showcase its versatility. Additionally, we explore PROX's application in the mathematical domain highlighting its effectiveness in domain-specific training. We demonstrate that ProX can enhance models regardless of their size and across different datasets, indicating its potential for iterative pre-training improvements. In the continual pre-training context, we apply ProX to the cleaned open web math corpus, aiming to refine and extract high-quality data from the extensive web pages it contains. We adapt the ProX XS series, initially trained on general text, to focus on math text for both document level and chunk level tasks. After cleaning, we retain about 5.5 billion tokens at the document level and around 4.7 billion tokens after chunk level refinement. We present the final evaluation results for models trained on the refined open web math corpus. We also examine the impact of ProX on the original data. By comparing the document length distribution of the original corpus with that of the ProX refined corpus, we observe significant changes. In general domain corpora like Red Pajama V2, the refined data shows an increase in the average number of tokens per document. For example, in Red Pajama V2, documents with fewer than 100 tokens are common, but after applying ProX, most documents exceed 200 tokens with the average rising from 1217 to over 2000 tokens. This indicates that shorter documents may be less informative for pre-training. However, we do not see this shift in open web math, where the average document length is already higher, likely due to its different sources, such as online forums and academic publisher sites. Further case studies on these documents are available in the appendix.